today, Wednesday, the 29th day of August, 2018. With me this morning in the studio, our three important guests. On my immediate right is a popular guest in the program, uh, a political analyst, Major Bashir Shahabu Gwalma, retired. Major, good morning, sir. Thank you very much, Ahmed, for calling us. Yes. And then, uh, on my far right, I also have a young politician, an aspirant, into the Kaduna State House of Assembly in 2019 on that platform of All Progressive Congress in Ongong Sunusi Ward, Kaduna. That is Honorable Adamu Kabir Umar. Honorable, good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much, Amen. Yes. Uh, gentlemen, our topic this morning is the state of the nation ahead of the 2019 general elections. The new shape of the All Progressive Congress National Caucus meeting emerged yesterday. There are new faces such as former Delta State Governor Emmanuel Udogan and former Senate Minority Leader Godswill Apagyu. Udogan's membership of the APC was largely unknown until last night when President Buhari met with the party's National Caucus at the Presidential Villa in Abuja. The caucus meeting will prepare the ground for today's National Executive Council next meeting which will ratify the plans for the party's congresses and convention to pick its candidate for all the various offices including the standard bearer in the presidential election. A decision on whether to adopt direct primaries being advocated by the national chairman Adam Soshimole or indirect primaries through delegate system is also, was also expected to be taken. President Buhari proceeded over the meeting held at the new banquet hall of the State House and there were about 17 governors as at the time of filing the support as well as uh, the Vice President and the Secretary to the Government of the, to the Government of Federation, Boss Mustafa, Senator Bola Tirubu, former National Chairman of the APC, John Uyibun, among other prominent APC chieftains. With less than few hours to the former Kanu uh, State Governor's Presidential Declaration in Abuja, Senator Rabi Musa Konkoso, the Konkoso's campaign organization says the FG but Senator Konkosu from the Igbo Square, despite paying huge sums of money. In a statement made available to journalists, the FCT administration suddenly turned down a request earlier approved owing to some flimsy excuses. Meanwhile, after being denied usage of the Abuja Igbo Square, Senator Konkosu has announced a new venue for his formal presidential declaration. According to Konkosu's spokesperson, Dinta speaking, the ceremony will hold at Chida Hotel in Utaku, Abuja. Meanwhile, in a letter signed by Usman Raji, the facility manager of the Abuja International Conference Center and Eagle Square, the government said the decision to deny him the Eagle Square was to avoid disruption of workflow at the Federal Secretariat, the workplace of hundreds of federal civil servants. We will also recall that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, yesterday bow to the National Assembly agreeing with the approved 143 billion dollar uh, budgetary request adopted on Monday by the Joint Committee of the Senate and the House of Representatives. With this development, INEC has now adjusted its budget from 189 billion to 143 billion naira in compliance with directive from the National Assembly. Announcing the compliance of INEC with the, adop with the adopted 143 billion naira elections budget after a closed door meeting yesterday the chairman of the committee senator Suleiman Mazivi, pdp bauchi North, said the electoral body had sent a reviewed budget to the committee within the ambit of 143 billion similarly nigeria's economic re recovery is slowing down but ordinarily there should have been so much going on for our economy production of crude oil stands currently at about 2 million barrels per day at a good price of $70 per barrel, yielding good foreign exchange for the nation, helping to boost foreign reserves, which today stands at about $47.25 billion. And inflation has continued to decline steadily over the several months, uh, based on its current level of 11.4% as the CBN and the MPC retain monetary policy index at a tight stand. Although the trickle-down effect of the budgetary expenditure and policy choices are yet to appropriately reflect on the quality of lives of most Nigerians, 
or on the overall human development index. As unemployment and underemployment still hover around 40% in the general population, even foreign investors are beginning to believe that the nation has become a very high risk country where killings have become the order of the day and non state actors are having a free reign. Uh, gentlemen, let me start with you, sir. Uh, Major, mm -hmm. let's start with the APC issue. Mm -hmm. uh, they had their caucus meeting yesterday, and today, of course, the next meeting will be held, mm -hmm. expected to be held. Mm -hmm. Now, there is this, uh, let me say, request by Oshimoli mm -hmm. for the party to adopt direct primaries. Mm -hmm. But again, it's as if some APC chieftains are not, I mean, are not okay with that. Well, good morning, viewers. Um, once more, I want to have to tell you and uh, the other viewers, I'm not a politician. I don't belong to any party. Mm. So, when organizations such as political parties are having their internal arrangement, yeah. me not being a member, I have no right to comment on anything, mm. whether it is negatively going to affect it or whether positively going to affect it, because uh, you know I'm not a member. But you're a political analyst. As a political analyst, as an analyst, yes. As far as I'm concerned, it's mm. one of the political activities we are expecting before the 2019 general election. So why not? They are they are meeting mm. to discuss how they are going to do their things. Okay, let them meet to do their things. As they, they want they want it, they want it to be to be mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. and whatever the result is that is their own you know nobody has the right to say this but as far as i'm concerned they are following their own program mm -hmm. towards 2019 election so i cannot see anything you know i don't have any comment either positive or negative to make it you know is their internal problem and let them this it's just like you maybe when you are when you will want to ask me yes why should there be a fuss when as you know some members mm -hmm. from party a you know defecting to party b from party b to defecting to this yeah, yeah. that is that is individually sick business he is a politician he wants it and this, this he feels that he is no more comfortable with the place he he is or he was then he now changed to other place so that one is this thing. But if you had asked me generality, mm -hmm. how it affects the, 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 the well being mm -hmm. of the general population, of the masses we are always purporting to be mm -hmm. working for, mm -hmm. and we are always shouting, we want to become this, we want to become that, so that we are going to help them. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Then if I see anything wrong, I will say it. By the end of the day, yes, yes. Yeah. you may remotely say, maybe by the end of the day, what they are doing will. We'll come back to affect this, but as far as I'm concerned now, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with that. Now, all right, I'll come back to you mm -hmm. anyway. Honorable Adam Kabir, I'm still on the issue of the APC caucus meeting, which, of course, issues like direct and indirect primaries will be discussed. Now, it is very clear that in the past, delegates are used for primaries, and uh, very soon, most political parties will begin to, you know, to, to have their primaries. And then we have a situation where Oshomoli is saying, you know, this uh, norm which has been uh, which had been in existence in the past should now be changed to a situation where every card carrying member of the party, you know, can has the powers to choose a representative at the primary level. What do you make of this? Um, thank you very much, Ahmed, for this mm -hmm. question. Yeah. You see, in politics, uh, politics comes with uh, different dimensions. Mm -hmm. The activities that happen while politicking comes in different places. Mm -hmm. uh, the APC as a party has it in its constitution, direct primaries and indirect primaries. So when uh, one family decides to argue on these two indices, mm -hmm. I don't think uh, there's any cause for alarm. What I know Quite a number of people are happy with direct primaries, and quite a number of people are also happy with indirect uh, primaries. So it's a game of uh, discussion, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why uh, the National Caucus met yesterday, and of course is subject to deliberation and also uh, concomment. All right, yeah. uh, Major, still mm -hmm. on, the, on on the issue. Mm -hmm. You will recall that in the twenty uh, prior to twenty fifty elections. Mm -hmm. 
within the ABC alone, mm -hmm. money exchange hands so much in, during the party primaries. Then you, you you have like for someone who is aspiring for the state house of assembly, having just over two hundred or three hundred delegates, that is where you begin to see people being given fifty thousand, hundred thousand, just to secure votes. And before you know it, someone who is probably not eligible mm -hmm. ends up getting the ticket. And that is why we should is saying this. So it means automatically it will have a direct bearing. Thank you very much. That's why I say remotely. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you something. You see, it's very, very unfortunate. Yeah. This is a system we adopted, you know, without actually, you know, going through so many intricacies mm. to find out the pros and cons of all this thing by the end of the day. Mm. Everybody knows anywhere that is practicing this presidential system of politicking or government mm. for you to be in an elected office even if you are not going to give money directly to the delegates or to anybody one way or the other you are going to spend a lot of money in campaign in well when i say campaign you start thinking about all these advertisement even all the what we call them posters, posters you know yeah. In fact, this year's own this this time, if it, it has taken a, a new dimension, I think they are now even making some plastic ones where that is if they are going to be permanently there and so <laughs> something. Unlike before, where, where we used to see paper yes. posters that yeah. can be that dis, they are disposable and yeah. so and so forth. Yes. You, are, you get you get me. Sure. So that costs a lot of money. And then again, for you to bring out somebody, let's say from Giwa local government, mm -hmm. to start bringing him to Kaduna when you want to do your whatever you want to do, whether you delegate and so and so forth. You have to start thinking of transporting him from that place of DC. Mm -hmm. After all, we are looking for this office. Sure. The system said that this is what you have to do. So for you to convince him to come, you have to think of transportation, accommodation, and some other welfare packets and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. You get me? So this is where this money something comes up. I keep on saying there is no party in Nigeria as at now. Whether it is a party that is, you know, too honest not to, to touch government money at this, no way in this country there will ever be an election, not in the foreseen future, in future anyway, whereby you are going to say that you are going to come, we are going to win an election without spending money, and we know the amount of money. Whereby you hear for somebody to aspire to be a presidential candidate, he has to spend about twenty million or so and so forth. I mean, I mean let's face the facts. Mm. What is this man's earning before he can get this type of money? And if he's going to borrow money or he's going to sell his assets, you understand me? To 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 to, to get this money and and, and 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 buy this from and so on and so forth. Why is he selling his dear assets if he knows that I am actually coming to work for the generality of the people? Mm. Why should I just interact? Why not, in fact, try to help somebody? One way or the other, why are they going to help us? Mm -hmm. Is this system good for us? Whereby somebody will have to spend money before he uh, he, 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 he becomes uh, a senator or because he becomes an HR or mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, as the case may be. Mm -hmm. You get me? So when you are talking like this, you don't talk only of APC mm -hmm. or any other party. That's true. It's yeah. all the party yeah. it has cut across. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why sometimes at the beginning, when President Muhammad Buhari's power and government came into DB and they are saying uh, other parties, uh, they like, let's say the PDP, you know, spend government money in campaign and mm -hmm. so on and so forth, I won't. I said we have to be very, very careful because by the end of the day, we know the system. Mm -hmm. Nobody is going to be dipping in money, I mean, his hand into his pocket. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Maybe the first timers. Yeah. Maybe the first timers. And even the first timers, you see them being sponsored by other people. Who by the end of the day will end up being godfathers and then problem starts like we have been seeing all over the place deputy governors and their partners and so on and so forth former deputy governors so, mm. so this is the danger of this system is nigeria ready is our, our, our eyes open ready to have this in whereby we have we can have members who are rich you know who are ready to contribute to the success of any political party that will come into power mm. spending millions of dollars well in our case billions of naira yeah. so that if this government comes to power they will be the impressive they will be the people dictating what they want and that is is allowed 
They can request for so many things. Mm. But for somebody who is aspiring, who is already a senator, to come and tell me that he's going to spend the money has already accumulated to, 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 to come to power, you get me? Mm -hmm. It means he's going there again with the aim, if he, if he wins, he's going to recover. He was from for whatever party is coming from. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. this is, that's my own reading anyway. Yeah. This is it. So when you say money, mm. politicking money is not only APC. So any party, really, really. any party that is looking for yeah. for this thing, they have to do that. Yeah, the bone of contention is is because the APC is calling for direct primaries. That is why I use the APC as a case study. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, what's your reaction to that? Oh, my reaction is as uh, simple as this: mm. money, politics. You cannot uh, separate the two. That's why in developed democracies, you see people making contributions, party members paying their dues. And of course, in every political party in Nigeria, if you go through the constitution, you definitely see something like that. People are expected to pay dues, but are we paying dues? Mm. So I'm going to stop at that. But if you look at the whole system generally, uh, money is one element that you cannot uh, really take away from human. And there is no how you run a campaign without spending money. There are expenditures. That's why even INEC has guidelines for spending limits mm. from 10 million, 15 million, 50 million, 250. Uh, if you go through the proposed electoral act, I believe the money has also multiplied mm. by the existing uh, spending limit. So what we should what we should do as a people, we should see how we can help one another. How can we help one another? We should make contributions to our political parties. Mm -hmm. In those days, political parties sponsor candidates. So my respected uh, member on, on the high table here, Major, uh, Major <laughs> I concur with his line of explanation. But the only thing here is we need to have seen people that have expanded mm -hmm. their wealth mm -hmm. to gain into power mm -hmm. and also while in power they also exhibit that kind of elements yeah. so there are quite a number of people that the society compels them to sell what they have mm -hmm. to achieve what they want what mm -hmm. do they want they want to serve, serve the people right. and if the people will not discipline themselves enough to at least take our political space to the next level mm -hmm. by being contributory by being supportive without uh, expecting any gratification. But you cannot differentiate man with those kind of tendencies. Why? Because the single element that, that safeguards man's integrity is welfareism. Mm -hmm. Do we have a welfare system in this country? Mm -hmm. You have Mr. A as a party uh, delegate. He thinks of how to educate his children. Mm -hmm. He thinks of how to take his children to hospital. There are so many things that is associated with human existence. Mm. Are we really taking care of all these things? So if these things are absent, of course you should be very, you should be ready to dish out money for such uh, person that is going to come from a far place. Yeah, and and, and then you, you may end up end up not having the right or the, it the has, right candidate. It has always or been the case. Yeah. It has it has always been the case. But yeah. it's a society. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a problem that we need to be confronted with. We need to confront it. We need yes. to accept that we have this problem. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Nigerian factor today, you and I want a good leader, mm -hmm. but are we ready to champion that cause? If we are ready to champion that cause, then we should be able to tell ourselves if Mr A comes with ten thousand naira, we should either say yes not because of the 10,000 Naira, mm -hmm. we should not look for a higher bidder. Mm -hmm. By the time we search for a higher bidder, that means we are not seeking for a proper representation. That's right. Then we are coming back to what we are talking about. Absolutely. If Mr. A has 50,000 Naira, Mr. Mm -hmm. B doesn't have 50,000 Naira, but he ha has all it takes to protect you and defend your right. That's right. If you shun him, then what are you doing? We, are, we always accuse our leaders mm -hmm. by not replicating what they see when they travel outside this country. That's right. But we are not thinking of replicating what others do in other countries. The citizenry of other countries, this is what they do. They contribute money to sponsor credible, mm -hmm. eligible, and respected people among them. That's but right. today, if you are vying for political office, probably Arne will say, is Adam ready? Mm. And if you ask Arne, what does he mean? Yeah. Maybe you will say, he doesn't, you don't, maybe you, 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 you look at it in the perspective that I'm not financially buoyant. Yeah, but you are financially buoyant enough mm -hmm. 
to support me. Yeah. Why? Because your 1,000 Naira, 2,000 Naira can add up. Right. By the time we all do that, mm. we'll come to the right direction. All right. Now, that is, like you said, for, for developed democracies. That uh, situation happened also during the Obama campaign, mm. where most of the people, black caucus, even the mm -hmm. white men, they, 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 they contributed money and financed his campaign, and then he ended up the president of the U.S. In Nigeria also, 2015, there was this, yeah, uh, this yeah. card that was sold to sponsor Buhari. Yes. I can remember mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. Because uh, people believed in his, uh, in his antecedents, you know, to, to deliver mm -hmm. the uh, dividends of democracy. Mm -hmm. But then, are we truly ready for mm -hmm. this at this moment? Let me tell you one thing. Yes. That's why I say the system mm. has made everybody to be a chief thing. Yeah. Whether in the political, in, in fact, in the mayor running of the political parties. Let me tell you those days when we're growing up. Yeah. That is during the late Premier Amadou Bello, the Sir Amadou Bello, maybe their source, rest is based, Alaji Amin Kano, and so on and so forth. Where are we? And we know what they are doing. That's right. The MPC Salama, mm. with the side of Ho, mm. and then the star, that is the Nepal, mm. and everything. Let me tell you the type of rivalry they were having those days. There was every party there, they have is, you know, the, it has, it had its youth wing. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. They organized things. What was the reason for organizing it? To, to generate a revenue. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Towards the running of the party. You get me? And every card carrying member has a card. Just like this Adashi card whereby you go and put two and six mm -hmm. or three shillings and so and so per mm -hmm. member. Mm -hmm. And then somebody goes around to see. And then by the end of the day, if there's going to be any taro or any meeting, yeah. When that member says that he's a member, you, you are asked, let us see the, 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 the currency right. of your, 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 your card. That's right. You get me? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask a question. In the whole of the political parties we have in Nigeria now, mm -hmm. I used to hear they have youth wings and so on and so forth, but these youth wings are very fond of going to the seat of power mm -hmm. just to go and announce their presence yes. so that by the end of the day, they don't yeah. want to money. Yeah, sure. You know, from the system. Why, by the former was like you said, very 2015, uh, we are aware. Mm -hmm. I know of a retired major like me who phoned me. Mm -hmm. He said he had already signed his three months pension mm -hmm. automatically to that account, General Mahmoud Bali Open. Wow. You get me? Mm -hmm. So these are the type of things. But the problem here is, you get me? When you come to power, you come to that seat. Mm -hmm. By the end of the day, the generality of the people who contributed, mm -hmm. even though there are some who are just, they don't even want their names to be to be to be yeah. Yeah. they will just sit down and listen, and there are the people reading. But mostly those who have been known to contribute mm -hmm. in one way or the other, either by 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 cash or by kind, mm -hmm. there are some of them who are always expecting something in return. That's right. You get me? Mm -hmm. So what we should now try to do, if we are not going to just let us believe. In the contribution that are going to be made by these general masses mm -hmm. who are the majority who, you know who is the majority in number that's right you get me mm -hmm. instead of the 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 the, the, the billionaires you get me that's right. who are you know who would be seen to be contributor one way or the other but by the end of the day what they are going to get will be multiplied by four times or something like that at the end of the day and that is what the system is still really mm -hmm. the pain in about people that's why you see we are always complaining. Individuals, very few individuals are cornering the decision because they always portend they are the decision. But if you take or if you multiply the contribution of the general population of the masses, mm -hmm. you will find that uh, you know even if they are contributing one hundred naira, by the end of the day you end up with about uh, a hundred and uh, uh, one point five billion naira. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. If fifty bill, if if fifty million people are, are, are this type of our class, you know, because we belong to a certain class, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I know, and maybe I belong to number number four class. Yes, so if if we if we don't contribute, but these people contribute one one hundred naira, that is a great step, and right. that is when a, a man who is going to vote, he knows the importance of the person that is going to vote. But when you always make him that. You are going to give him money mm -hmm. before you go for you. Okay, he will just sit down and wait until you are this. You know, you, you, you come out with this money before he does this. Thing. 
So that's why you don't see these activities like mm -hmm. we used to see those days, whereby we have L1 Banjo, mm -hmm. football team, uh, Liverpool own buses, uh, another one, and so on and so forth, and this is it, and so on and so forth. Nowadays, everybody just wants to get get until the day a new government is elected into the office. All right. Now, um, let's let's talk about uh, uh, the, the situation that happened where Senator Konkoso was denied the usage of a wood square. Now, let, let me start with you. You, you, you are an EPC member, and uh, Konkoso was supposed to uh, you know, have his presidential, presidential declaration at the Eagle Square today. But unfortunately, they denied him access to the venue. The, the, a lot of people are, be, I mean, are beginning to, be, to feel as if the president or uh, the presidency is threatened by the followership of Congress. What do you mean of that? Uh, I, for one, I do not personally feel the president or the presidency uh, in that position. Uh, when you are to be given